Great, thank you. So, um, activity cards and icons for 4.0. We had a lot of feedback from the community about the scroll of death in 4.0 versions. And based on all the data collected through the tracker and community forums, we started to work on the redesign of the activity cards, trying to tackle all the areas and elements that led to this big uh, card design. So the, the prototype I'm going to be showing you is the second design iteration based on the design feedback sessions we conducted with 10 community users. So what you're going to see today is a work in progress design. Not, uh, it's not the final solution, of course. And this design will be evolving with the second research phase that we are going to be conducting, conducting along with the PX team for the next sprint. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to try to be quick uh, because I know we don't have much time. Um, yes, one sec. I want to try to open picture and picture mode. OK, great. So uh, basically, we've uh, focus this redesign into all these elements that were adding vertical space to the cards. So we have reduced the margins around the, the cards to be a uh, um, smaller uh, card design. We also had feedback about the activity icons being hard to differentiate and um, like uh, 11 icons were using the same background color and we've tried to improve the, the icons using light backgrounds with a brighter uh, colors for, for the icon shape, which make it uh, easier to, to differentiate and to recognize the, the icon shapes. Um, uh, we basically also try to, we, we remove the activity or the plugin uh, type name from this view, but we, we need a way for teachers uh, to recognize what activity uh, type uh, they are looking at, and this can be accessed by hovering the activity icon. So we'll have a tooltip that will display the activity type label. Um, also, a, another uh, element that we try to reduce in, in terms of spacing is the uh, activity completion criteria that is now grouped under this tasks button. Um, so basically, for especially for um, uh, activities that have more than one uh, criteria, the the indicators of these uh, criteria were adding a lot of vertical space, and we've grouped them into one element um, that can be uh, checked in this button. Also, um, from the research we've been doing, we've heard that users want to edit um, um, like important. Um, settings of activities directly from the uh, overview page. So we've added the option to go and edit the criteria, the completion criteria directly from here. Um, another element that has been changed is the activity restrictions. And right now we have them displayed all the time in the activity cards, but uh, this is taking a lot of space of the screen, especially for um, okay, thanks, Adrian. I'm going to try to be quick. Um, so, yeah, uh, right now we will display this lock icon for activities that have any restriction. And by clicking on that, they will be able to see all the criteria that they set for the activity. Another thing uh, we've added is also the ability to edit activity restrictions from here in the same way that happens with the uh, completion criteria. And also another element we are um, thinking of the possibility to add it back to the activity cards is not 100% sure, but uh, we are considering this these, um, uh, group uh, mode um, indicators to be back. Um, and we'll have an icon to display if the activity has any group mode selected and the ability to change it directly from here for for when edit mode is on. Also, the open and due dates have been uh, displayed in a different way. So we are displaying them in bird, sorry, in horizontal order to save some space. Um, also, 
uh, the ability to edit the title in line. It will be it will have the same functionality, but we are trying to revamp and modernize a little bit the the UI. So um, I'm just gonna be showing you how a activity with long title will look like. So we have also the uh, indicator for visibility or availability uh, settings like hidden or cells here. Um, we also want to bring back the uh, file type icons, um, um, especially for um, indicate what uh, file type we, we have here. So we will, have, we will use different icons for the different file types. Um, in order uh, to, to improve the, the way to recognize the which uh, file it is um, for users. And um, we have heard also that uh, teachers want to have uh, different functionalities when they are in edit mode or view mode. So when we are in view mode, we'll have a slightly different interface in the same way that is happening right now. But um, we won't be able to edit anything. So for example, for the activity completion, we'll be able to check the completion criteria set, but also um, teachers will be able to go um, and see the activity completion for this particular activity. Um, so again, these are functionalities that uh, are basically for the long term. This is the idea and we are gonna uh, be trying to see what uh, are the technical possibilities of these? But this is something that has been very much requested from the users. Also, the unread uh, forum messages uh, indicator will be displayed in view mode, not in edit mode. And basically, the activity restrictions will behave in the same way, but right now we don't have the option to edit from here because we are in edit mode and the same happened with the group mode. 